Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Thursday, the 17th of September. We continue to think about some of the aspects of the call of Ezekiel and what we see in the first couple of chapters. And we saw how Ezekiel had this vision of God and God speaks to him. And inevitably, when God speaks to people, he calls them to do something. Um, and so if we say, oh, I wish I could hear God, we're asking to be called <laughs> to go and do. And Ezekiel was told by God, and we, in chapter 2, verse 7, you must speak my words to them, whether they listen or fail to listen, for they are rebellious. But you, son of man, listen to what I say to you. And what struck me was that Ezekiel was called, and twice God says to him, whether they listen or fail to listen, you must go and speak to them. And so often we, or maybe just me, gets bogged down by what the response is going to be. Or God called, said, I must love these people. How are they going to take it? God said, I must tell people that Jesus loves them. Oh, but ooh, I'm not sure how they will receive this. What will they think? What will they say? Is this going to work? And we get so tied up with what the response is that sometimes we, we hold back. And God's very clear to Ezekiel, don't, don't worry about them. Whether they listen or fail to listen, you must do what I'm calling you to do. And he continues, do not rebel like that rebellious people. Um, and so God is saying, go out and do what I say. Don't worry about what, what the result is, because the result isn't up to us. The result is up to God. And Jesus has that, that parable of the sower of the seed. We're not called to make the seed grow. We're called to sow the seed. God makes it grow. Um, the disciples went out and Jesus said, go and, and preach the good news. And he sorted out what, what would happen as a result of that. And for me, that's an encouragement that we see what God calls us to do and we can be faithful to that. And as we are faithful to that, we don't have to worry about what the result is. We have to con constantly say, am I doing what God called me to do? Is this what God has um, led me to do? Does my life reflect what Jesus has called me to be? And if we can say yes to those questions, then we get on with it. Whether they listen or fail to listen, we do what God called us to do. So live your life for God, knowing that he's working in you and through you, and be blessed.